in my experience, most Christians have no idea what this day is even all about. But I do. And I've got those dummies believing it is all about Easter clothes and, and bunny rabbits, egg hunts, and candy baskets. <laughs> oh, and let's not forget about that artery clogging ham that is slow baking in the oven as we speak. Mm. Oh, but it is hilarious to me that most people have no idea about all that suffering that Jesus, that G, that he did all because he loved them. <laughs> but it don't make no difference because most of his so-called family are broke, busted, and disgusted. No peace, no joy, all because they don't believe that they could be. No that they should be walking in his victory every single day of their stupid little lives. <laughs> oh, hey, it ain't my fault that they don't believe the bot. The bot. <laughs> that book. <laughs> but hey, it don't matter to me because I'm just going to keep doing my thing anyway. <laughs> and it works out perfectly for me every single time. <laughs> oh, it looks like y'all need an example up in here. Huh. Why don't we just check in on one of my favorite little Christian families, shall we? Ooh, today is going to be a great day. It is going to be a great day. The Lord, this cough's gonna be the death of me yet. Mom, I've asked you to not bring that death talk up in my house. Oh, son, I'm just playing. If I'd have known you were gonna do all this Easter cooking, I'd have been in that kitchen with you. Mom, it's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. Well, you should mind. That, that. Scandalous. Scandalous woman. Up there in the bed all day long watching modern housewives. And he ain't the baby daddy. What's that all about? Mama, just for today, can you not go off on Michelle? Son, I'm just saying. You got to buy the cow. You got to cook. Cow, kill the cow, and then cook the cow. You can do better all by yourself. You can do that all by yourself. What you need her for? Ugh. Michelle, Emma, dinner's ready. I'll be right there. That's what I'm talking about. First one down here to eat, and the last one to get in there and start a pot. Just for today. Oh, baby, did you do all of this just for me? Yeah. That was so sweet. I meant to cook today, but I, wait a minute. What time did you get home from work anyway? Uh, a couple hours ago. I went upstairs, seen you sleeping. So, Emma, we're waiting on you. Oh, oh, oh my God, I have got the worst headache today. I went upstairs to get just a little bit of sleep. And before I knew it, I must have really needed some rest because <laughs> I was really out. But I got to tell you, you are just too good to me. Oh, uh, anything for my blonde hair, Pookie Bear. <laughs> She's running again. Emma! Stop your running, please. Sorry, Dad. I didn't hear you the first time. It's okay. Listen, family. I wanted to get us all together for a nice, relaxing dinner before we headed off to the resurrection service today. 
Well, you know that I don't plan on going to no church or resurrection service today. Well, you know I was hoping you wouldn't drink today. Well, you know it's a little late for that. <laughs> so, I am sure you're also very well aware that Jesus turned water into wine. So, I have it on good authority that he will not mind if I have one or four more glasses. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Anyway, shall we pray, Father? No, you're too slow. By the time you finish, food will be cold. I'll do it. Lord, bless this food. Amen. Amen. Now let's eat it. You know, Emma, it's been a while since we've had a talk, and I've been working a lot of overtime, and I, and I apologize that we haven't had our time. How's school been going? Yeah, Emma. Why don't you tell Daddy over here just how great school's been going for you? It's all right. Uh, I think you need to stop lying. Okay, what's going on? Well, your little goody two-shoes are over here brought home a report card full of Fs just last week, if I might add. Wow. <laughs> you always have excellent grades. What's changed? I hate school. Duh. I hate school. Since when do you hate school? Since you put me in that new school, Dad. I have no friends. I don't fit in, and I'm all alone. Emma, we've had this discussion several times. You're never alone. I know putting you in that private school was a bit of an adjustment. It's been an adjustment on all of us. I just want you to have the best education possible. They, they, they've been messing with you up there in that school. What do they call that? Bullying. Bullying. Because you know that Grammy will come up there uh, and Mama. lock that place Mama. up. Mama. Oh, my good grief. Nobody I... messes with my granddaughter. No, Grandma, I have a suggestion. What I think you should do is remember that Daddy over here works really hard, and he pays a lot of money for your little private school. So, at the end of the day, you should try and stop embarrassing this whole family. I was talking to Dad, not you. Oh, no, she didn't. No, girl, are you trying to raise your voice at me in my house? I don't think anybody raises their voice in this house except for me. Thank you very much, because I've had just about enough of you for the day. just about enough to drink. Oh, no, she oh, no, did no, not. No, I don't no, think no, that no, you are going to talk well, to me that no, way. No, 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 Shut up, Tamar. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I have had just about enough. Are you serious? Everyone shut up! All I wanted was a peaceful dinner before we headed off to church. And we can't even do that right. I give up. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful? The perfect storm. <laughs> oh, I've been working on this one for a long time. But you see this one right here? This one, he's the real deal. But I knew if I could just get the foundation off track, that I could have the whole family. <laughs> oh, look at him. So tired, working all these long, hard hours trying to make ends meet. He can't hardly think straight. <laughs> you see, there's just something about fatigue that makes you vulnerable. You see, I've got this little hottie down at the Lord. office and... Lord, please help me. Jesus. 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 I can't do this anymore. You never could, George. 
That's why I did it for you. Because I love you. What do you mean I never could? That's my family. It's my job. It's my responsibility. Your job is to believe in me and put all your faith in me and what I did for you on the cross. I bore all your cares and burdens so you don't have to. Your responsibility is to walk in the victory I won for you when I rose. How do I do that? Cast your cares on me, George. Focus on my love for you and lead your family by example into a personal relationship with me. I've handled the rest for you, son. You are mine. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome. Grammy. Yes, sir. My dear, why are you using the tongue I gave you to hurt yourself? What you talking about, Lord? Every time you speak something negative over yourself like, this cough is going to be the death of me, or say something I didn't say, you give it power, you give it life, and you reject the victory I won for you during my passion on the cross. I took those stripes and healed you from every disease. What? I don't understand. What, what do you mean, Lord? It's okay, my dear. Just believe the truth. Speak the truth. And you will see the truth manifest. Emma, I have a plan for you. You do? Yes. And trust me, it's a good one. I need you to take my courage and believe I'm always with you. My sweet daughter, it's impossible for you to be alone, ever. I defeated every enemy of God and man on the cross, including fear. You must know me for yourself. I love you, honey. Remember that, okay? Okay. Michelle. Michelle, I know you hear me. I love you, Michelle. You questioned my love after you lost the boys and Emma survived. Despite what many have told you, I didn't kill your babies. I am life. I give abundant life. I carried your pain and sorrow on the cross and left it there. Turn back to me, Michelle. I've already healed your broken heart. I am your comfort. Family, let's remember the cross. Let's remember. Family, let's remember the cross. Remember the victory. It was all for you because you are loved. Remember when he died on the cross for us? Because he loves us? Remember and live. Yeah, let's remember and live.
I'm headed off to Grace for the resurrection service. Who's coming with me? Me. Wait for me. Me too. I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> oh! Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait for me. I think I'm going to come too. <laughs> Let's Crazy go. Guy.